our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Four years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's his first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Iron Michael J. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 30 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Charles no Bronx Oliveira! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. for a submission here. He's a tight arm bar now. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. It's in there deep. There you go. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, gotta be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Good work with the ground and pound here by Oliveira. Let's go. Get now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Got to be careful, on bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. 
as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of the very first round. To find the winner by tap out and still. Many argue it's the UFC's toughest weight class. It's one of the more difficult belts to defend, but he certainly did just that here tonight. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate 